Yeah, I was really happy with the way our team played. Um, two matches, you know, starting out with Widener, who uh, is in the MAC and starting. <laughs> they have a bunch of freshmen and younger players, and they really scrapped. And, uh, our, and our starters played really well, so I was able to put in everybody at some point in that match. And, um, and everybody that came in played really well, too. And then the, the, the second match was uh, a lot um, tougher. I mean, Hunter's a, a mature program. And like you mentioned, um, they made the NCAAs last year and lost to the top team in the country, knocked them out of it. Well, yeah, Landon, he's a pleasure to coach and I think for the fans to watch because he's super dynamic. I mean, he jumps really high and hits the ball really hard. And um, I think the other teams really enjoy playing against them too. They can test their blocking skills and to try to stop them or to dig them. Uh, and he's a, also a really, uh, he's a good leader on the court and in practice and all. So, you know, he's got some stuff to work on though. <laughs> but his serving's are remarkable too. He's got, uh, you know, a serve that, you know, give any team trouble at any level. Yeah, I think. Probably the number one thing is that all those guys, everybody, all 15 players work really hard in practice and in their weight room and, and they're all, you know, there's not that much of a difference between the guys that, you know, are on the bench and the guys that are starting. It's just, you know, a little bit more chemistry with the starters and and then there's Landon. That's, you know, <laughs> he separates. But, uh, you know, those guys, I'm giving them an opportunity to come in and play well and they, and they do, you know, and they have. So... And it helps in practice because most of the time you're not in matches, you're practicing and um, you want to keep the practice level high so that it's, it's good for everybody to play. Yeah, Jared is a different kind of setter. He's more mature than Alex. He's a knucklehead freshman. I can say that because he's my nephew. Um, but uh, but Alex is really coming along and uh, you know Jared has uh, more maturity, stronger hands and um, you know, it's they're, they're two different. It's great at, from a coaching standpoint to have a setter like Jared that can come in um, or even start, depending on the competition. Uh, so it's, it's good. They're all pushing each other for positions on the floor. Yeah, every guy bring your girlfriend. Every girlfriend bring your boyfriend. <laughs> I want to double. I want to double the crowd. Like I was looking over here, that like the alumni kind of are sitting there. They're taking up, you know, a nice chunk. Of, but I want them to, you know, I want to double that. Um, next time around, because it really helps. You don't want to play where you, you hear me cussing you know, from the bench, and you want a nice loud crowd, and um, you know, we'll maybe even get a few of the band members to come. We don't need the whole band. I'll take like five, a drummer, a couple, couple tubas. Yeah, the more noise, the better. It's more fun to play in front of a loud crowd. But it was nice today. Thanks a lot.